Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about standard protocol uh, when you've taken some losses, you're in some drawdown in your account. So as you know, I trade the NASDAQ, um, but this really would go for any index futures. There's micro versions of every index future. So if you're trading a top step 150k combine, for example, you have a $3,000 daily loss limit. So let's say you're getting up around 1k loss, 2k loss, right? Um, Naturally, your first instinct is going to be to size up to chase back the losses quickly. But obviously that's gambling, right? So that's what you want to do, but it's not what you should do. Um, what you should do as you take drawdown is the first thing is that the number of contracts go down. So let's say that your standard lot size is three. You take $500 loss, you're down to two. You're at a 1K loss, you're down to one. Or... Uh, if you're able to do it, if you're on the scaling plan, whatever, and you, you're able to take on 10 contracts, go over to the micro NASDAQ, and obviously 10 is one, right? So you have to scale down as you take losses, and it sucks, uh, but that's what you have to do. So standard protocol for when you take losses, I recommend if you're trading the full-size NASDAQ, first start lowering the number of contracts, and then second, um, Second should be to go to the micro NASDAQ. Uh, similarly, right, there's the MES and MYM and uh, M2K as well, but I trade the NASDAQ. So, guys, as you take losses, you have to scale down. And, yes, it's going to take you twice as long. Um, the first thing that you want to do is get back to break even. So break even principle in sort of money management or account management is if you are at losses, you want to get back to break even, um, grind back to break even, and then stop and then you can work back from even uh, that's why you'll see me use basically a lot of break even stops you'll see me do a lot of uh, things because uh, I try to avoid losses if I can and I try to avoid um, I mean obviously I, I can't avoid losses right but if you are in drawdown you have to lower the risk it's the opposite of what you want to do but it is what you have to do so micro NASDAQ is good for that you're in drawdown, go over the micro NASDAQ. Guys, that's standard protocol for if you are in losses, you must lower risk. You must uh, either take on fewer full-size NASDAQ contracts or go over the micro NASDAQ. Um, and that's what you have to do. And then, you, and then you have to grind back from there, guys. Bye.